Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make Rainbow Soccer Ball Charms. This is what it looks like. Since soccer balls come in all different colors, I decided to make some in all different colors. Many of you want a mustache charm tutorial. And I know Made by Mommy has a very great tutorial on how to do them. So check her out. Last week I asked you what your favorite movie was, and if it was mine too, I would give you a shout out. Thank you so much for all your comments, but my favorite movie is The Prince and Me. Now for the supplies. You will need two looms, and a mountain position, and I'm getting you ready for the phone case, because you will need two looms too, and make sure that your pegs go up, down, down, just like that. You can use as many colors of rubber bands as you want, but today I'm using two colors, white and black. You can use your rainbow loom hook, but I prefer crochet hooks, and I'm using a 3.5 millimeters. Get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. To start, make sure you have your arrows on your loom pointing away from you, and you have your rubber bands ready. To start, we're going to take one color of our rubber bands, take two rubber bands, lay them on these two pegs next to each other, and now we're going to lay two more of the same color on this peg to that peg. Now push that down and lay two more rubber bands of the same color from this peg to that peg and push them down. Now we're going to switch colors and do these outer pegs. So take two of your next color, do this one, push it down, and do this one and push it down. Now do the other side. Do this one, push it down, and do this one and push it down. Make sure you have two rubber bands on each peg. Now I'm going to switch to my next color again and I'm going to go all the way from here to here on either side from here to here then from here to here and from here to here. Now I'm going to switch to my next collar, take two rubber bands, and go up from here to here, and up on the other side from here to here, and push those down. And remember, make sure you have two rubber bands on each peg. Now we're going to take our same collar and go diagonal on either side. like that. Now we're going to switch to our next color, take two rubber bands, and go diagonal. And take two more rubber bands, and go diagonal. Just like that. Now we're going to start filling in our insides. So take two of your color right here, and go from here to here, push it down and then take two more and go from here to here and push it down. Now we're going to take two more, go from here to here, push it down and take two more and go from here to here and push it down. Take two more of the same color and Lay it from here to here. Now we're going to take our next color, lay it across here, push it down, and then lay it again next to it and push it down. Now we're going to take two more rubber bands of our next color, place it from here to here, and then take two more, do this one, Do this one, do this one, 
and take two more and do this one. Take two more and do that one and push these all down. Remember, make sure you have two rubber bands on each peg. Now take two more of your next color and place it from here to here. Take two more and place it from here to here. Now we're going to take two of your next color, place it from here to here. Take two more, place it from here to here. Take two more, place it from here to here. And take two more, here to here, and two more, and here to here. Now push these all down. Now take one rubber band and wrap it three times around your finger or on your pegs, whichever one's easier. And you're going to stretch it out. from here to here. And you can loop it as many times as you want, just make it tight. And push it down, just like that. Now, take this color, whichever you, color you have right here, and you're going to make a row all the way down. So do that one, do this one, do this one, do this one, and do this one. And push these all down. Now we're going to do the same for the other side. Do this one. Now do this one. Do this one. Do this one. Do this one. And do this one and push these all down and now we're going to take our original color this color and we're going to go from our, right our second peg up and go diagonal and now we're going to take two more rubber bands and go from here to here Just like that. Now do the same for the other side. So do this one, then take two more, and do this one. And push these all down. Now we're going to turn our loom around and take your white or whatever color you have there, and you're going to Start from here and stretch a rubber band all across these five pegs. Then you're going to take another rubber band and stretch another rubber band over these rubber bands. Or these pegs, I mean. <laughs> and now you're going to do the same for your next rows. Do those six, and then do these eight. I know, rubber bands can stretch really far. And now we're going to do these, all of these pegs. And what you can do is just fold that over. Now we are ready for step two. This is step two. You will need two rubber bands and either your rain balloon hook, but be careful because mine broke. Or you can use a metal crochet hook. I prefer this one. If I'm going too fast for you, please pause the video and press play when you are ready. To start, make sure the arrows on your loom are pointing toward you. Now we can start. So take these two top rubber bands over the top and onto the peg in front of them. Now take these two bottom rubber bands over the top and onto the peg diagonal from them. Now take these two top rubber bands. 
You can do one at a time if it's easier for you. Sorry, this won't come through. Okay, I got it. And now you can take these two bottom rubber bands over the top and diagonal. Now we're going to take our color rubber bands. Make sure you grab both of them. You can do one at a time. And now take these two bottom or middle. These are middle rubber bands over the top and diagonal. Now do the same for the other side. Take these two top colored rubber bands over the top onto the peg in front of them. Now take these two bottom rubber bands. Actually, these are middle. So go diagonal. And now we're going to take in the middle that you have these two black or whatever color you're using rubber bands and you're going to stick your hook in and grab them over the top and onto the peg to the side. Just like that. Now we're going to take our bottom two colored rubber bands, put them on the peg in front of them, and take our other two bottom colored rubber bands. I'm doing one at a time. like that. Now we're going to take these two colored bottom rubber bands over the top and diagonal. And now go to the other side and take these two colored rubber bands over to the side and diagonal. So now we're going to take these two middle rubber bands onto the peg next to them. And now take these two bottom over at the top onto the bag in front of it and then take these two bottom over the top and onto the bag in front of it. Now you can push these all down. Now what you're going to do is take these two colored rubber bands over the top and take these two over the top. Now do the same for the other side. Take these two and then take these two. Now we're going to take these two rubber bands over the top and diagonal and then take these two bottom rubber bands over the top on the peg in front of them. Then you're going to take these two rubber bands on the top and diagonal, and then these two rubber bands over the top and in front of them. Now what you're going to do is go back to your colored rubber bands, take the two rubber bands over the top, and then take your other two rubber bands over the top. Now you're going to take these two rubber bands over the top and these two rubber bands over the top. Now let's go to the center again. We're going to take these two bottom rubber bands over the top and these two bottom rubber bands over the top. And now we're going to take these two middle rubber bands off to the side and these two bottom colored rubber bands onto the peg in front of them and these two bottom colored rubber bands onto the peg in front of them. Now we're going to move over here, take these two diagonal rubber bands and take these two bottom 
rubber bands, these two bottom, and then take these two middle. And now we're going to take our two colored over the top and take our two colored over the top and do that to the end. Just like that. Now we're going to stick our hook in and grab these two colored rubber bands. Now you can push everything down. So now we're going to take these two rubber bands, they're at the top, and you're going off to the side. Just like that. Now you're going to take these two rubber bands over the top and onto the peg in front of them. And then take these two rubber bands over the top and over the top. And then you're going to take these two rubber bands diagonal and then you're going to take these two rubber bands diagonal. Now you're going to sew these up on the sides and take your bottom two. So stick your hook in, grab those two bottom two and then do the other side. Take these two bottom two, and then take these two bottom two. And now we're going to grab these two bottom, so stick your hook in, grab these two bottom, stick it in again. Now we're going to stick in our hook through all of those rubber bands. Grab our two rubber bands, put them on the hook, and pull these through. And oh, let me pull these through again. So stick your hook in, pull these through and place them back on, just like that. Now, be careful when you're ripping this off so these rubber bands don't break. So don't pull so much on your hook. So, take these off carefully. Now what you can do is pull these two loops through these two loops to leave it as a charm. And there you go, you got your soccer charm. This is what it looks like when it's done. And this is what it looks like when it's on. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make Frame Bloom soccer balls. I've been working on the phone case and I finished it. All I need to do is film the video. For a shout out this week, I want to know what you're going to be when you grow up. And if we have the same profession when we get older, I'll give you a shout out. You can find me on Instagram at Craft Life USA. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!